Hey guys, it's PopNerd here, and before I get started with this tutorial, I just want to say thank you all for helping me reach 2k subscribers. When I posted my last tutorial, I was around 500, so it's been awesome watching the channel grow, and once again, a huge thank you to the 10% of you guys who watch my videos and are subscribed. Anyways, let's get into the tutorial. So today I'll be showing you guys how to create a quick and easy sci-fi drone animation. We won't be doing any complicated hard surface modeling, instead we'll be creating a simple base for the model and then we'll add details using free kit bash assets. So to get started, let's delete the default cube and add in a cylinder. I'll change the number of vertices to 200 and scale everything down on the z-axis. The reference that I'll be using to create this drone is the Imperial Probe Droid from Star Wars, but I won't try to copy this design, though I will use it as a reference for inspiration. To create the base for the head, let's hit tab to go into edit mode, and I'll inset the top face by pressing I and I'll move it up on the z-axis to create a better shape for the top of the drone's head. I'll do the same for the bottom of the head, and I'll then inset the bottom again and press E to extrude it inward. I'll slightly inset this face once more and extrude it downwards this time. This will help give parts of the drone a sense of depth, and I'll be doing this a lot more in this video. To add detail to this area of the drone's head, let's select all the faces in this section by toggling transparency and going to the front orthographic view. With all these faces selected, we can inset this area and slightly extrude it inward for more detail. I'll repeat the same steps with these newly created faces, but this time I'll extrude it outward to give this area more depth. I also recommend slightly beveling any sharp edges to get softer shadows. I'll essentially repeat the same steps of insetting, extruding, and scaling faces to create the rest of the drone's body, so I'll fast forward this step of the process. Most of the modeling should be easy because all parts of the drone will be cylindrical. To get the shape I want, I'll try to give the drone a distinct head, body, and tail. If you want to change the scaling of any part of the drone, you can easily go back to orthographic view and select and scale the faces with transparency enabled. Once you've finished the base, we can move on to adding details using kit bash assets. Don't worry too much if your model doesn't resemble a drone quite yet because you'll always be able to change the proportions as we add the details. To find free kit bash sets, go to the ArtStation Marketplace and search kit bash in the free section. There are lots of great options to choose from, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'll be using Markham 3D's kit bash assets because it's relatively small and won't get too overwhelming. I'll leave a link to this set in the description, and I also encourage checking out the full version of this kit if you want to support the creator. So once I have the kit, I'll import the FBX file, and I'll go on to delete some assets that I'm sure that I won't be using for this project. To get started with the kit bashing, I'll just randomly place parts of the kit to give the drone more detail. Starting with the head, I'll place a mix of kit bash assets and basic models I make to populate the drone. To create the eye of the drone, I'll edit this asset to create a socket, and I'll add in a sphere for the eye. Insetting and extruding a couple faces will also help add small details. As you add more details, your drone will start to come together, so this will be a good time to adjust the proportions of your drone before we turn everything into one object. I should also mention that if you're planning on using kit bashing for more projects, you should check out the kit ops add-on, which makes this process much easier. There's a free and pro version for this add-on, and I'll leave a link to this download in the description as well. To texture the drone, I won't be doing anything too complex. I'll give the drone base that we modeled a light gray color with the roughness of 0.5, and I'll give all the kit bash assets a slightly darker version of the same material. For the eye, I'll make the sphere black and turn down the roughness to zero. These materials will give the drone a cartoon animated look, but I recommend using image textures if you want to go for realism. Once you've textured the drone, let's select everything and turn it into one object by pressing Ctrl J. Before we start animating anything, right click on the drone and set the origin to the geometry. This will be important because we'll be separating the head soon and it'll need to share the same origin as the rest of the drone. This could also be done through rigging, but I'll make a separate tutorial for that soon. Once you've set the origin, let's animate the entire drone turning by adding a location and rotation keyframe at the first frame and going to the last frame to add new keyframes after setting the new rotation values. To add a levitation animation, let's go to the graph editor, add a modifier to the Z location, and adjust the values until we get something that looks nice. Thank you. 
Once you're done animating the body of the drone, let's animate the head by making it another object. To do this, let's select the drone object and go into edit mode. From here, let's go to the front orthographic view, enable transparency, and select the head of the drone. Right click and make the selection into a separate object. From here, we can give the head new keyframes and set new rotation values so we can animate it looking around as the entire body turns in one direction. As you do this, make sure you're only adding or changing the Z rotation values because changes in location or any other axes will disconnect the head from the rest of the body. Also keep in mind that if you want the drone to seem more lifelike, making the drone's head rotate in sharp and quick turns by adding keyframes closer together will be more imitative of animals compared to slow and definitive turns which will give the drone a more robot-like movement. Once you've animated the head, add the drone into your scene and there you go. For tips on creating a similar background and lighting, I highly recommend watching Carl Poiser's cinematic lighting tutorial as well, as well as his other work which inspired me to make this tutorial. I hope this was useful, and I'd also like to announce that I've created the Discord server on which I'll be sharing more tips, resources, and most importantly, I'll be answering any questions regarding these tutorials and Blender. There are also channels on the server where you can share your own work and network with other artists. I'll be leaving an invite link to the server in the description below, and I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. Anyways, thanks to everyone watching for checking out this video, and I'll see you guys next time.